Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Pacific States of America lover. But we got to talk about the end of the Second American Civil War. The enemies of America have been destroyed once again. The South has been pacified. The syndicalist menace has been suppressed, and the American Caesar has been vanquished. The threats to American democracy have been destroyed, and the great system designed so wisely by the Founding Fathers have survived another threat. Now, cross country, people can rejoice to celebrate a new era of peace. The, this lot of liberty has not yet been extinguished. Wow. That's a lot of debuffs, uh, and we only have 10 divisions now, apparently, which isn't super great, but America's reunited. Along the last, the United States of America has been reunited, the tyrant MacArthur has been cast down, all other traitors to the country that seek to turn America into something that has not been defeated. The stars and stripes now fly, fly proudly from the coast to coast, knowing that liberty is good for all Americans, a more perfect union. But we've got some comments to go through as well, such as, as long as my page loads, can't, someone says, can't wait for you to do a Kaiser Texas or Kaiser Britain run, along with your take on the Western Command Center and the Redux version. Yes, yeah, someone says, yes, yeah, some potential series we got right there. Someone else says, do you prefer, do people prefer Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux? Another person says, you should go with Japan if they pick a democratic polit political party. The PSA, AI, never does it as they are programmed to join the Entente. Someone says, Okay, I was not expecting you to invade Canada, but all right. And someone else says, or the same person actually says, Once the Civil War is over, the PSA shall rebuild America, or the U.S., back to its former glory. And you're 100% correct on that, my friend. So, we got a lot of these things we can deal with here. Um, uh, there you go. Ah, debuffs. And American Civil War. What effect will this have on the American dream? Probably a lot of effects, as someone is justifying on us right now. Which isn't very cool. Who is it? Wait, what? Japan. Uh, I don't want to fight the Japanese immediately. We're still trying to prove their Marine Corps. So if you want to reread that one again, please go right ahead. But there you go. Protecting Colombia wouldn't be bad. Begin trials against the traitors, generals, join other factions in the Civil War. I think we should do the last bastion of American democracy, in all honesty. We're the last bastion of freedom and democracy in America. We alone now carry the torch of freedom and democracy, of course. Remove the last bastion. Ooh, we lose the aid of the political power. Ooh. Gain reconstruction. Ooh. Well, we gotta do it, so. I really don't want to do all this stuff. Um, oh, we own Angola. Well, we can do Angola first. Our annexation of the former Portuguese colony of Angola left us to manage those millions of Africans far by the seas. Uh, surely installing a local government will be easier for us to manage, but should we trust the locals with that? You know what? I'm going to go and just liberate them. I don't want to deal with that. So, I don't want to lose any political power there. Uh, Ver Cape Verde, Guinea. The independence movement uh, of Cape Verde and Guinea have always been very well linked. As Lusophone sisters, it was only natural that once liberated from Portugal, they would seek joint independence. To help with the local administration of the region, should we reconsider leasing as loyal satellites? That's okay. I don't want to deal with resistance. And we can always liberate them later. New capital for America? With America reunited, the question is what should be the capital of America has been brought before Congress. What city shall Congress choose to be the capital of America? Let's go with Sacramento. Let's keep it on West Coast for now. Uh, fate of Portugal? Uh, Jamaica. Following a brief campaign, the Kingston is under control, and with it, all of Jamaica. What should we do with the group? Well, I'll do the fate of the Caribbean Islands first. The numerous and small Caribbean Islands, uh, formerly part of the West Indies, federations with broader controls or troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. I'll liberate them from us. There you go. And you guys are going to help me get that stuff done. Hawaii seeks to buy a destroyer. An envoy from Hawaii has sought to buy a destroyer from us. Doing so would help our economy a little bit when we, though we were to give up the dockyard and build a ship, should we take up them up on their offer? We we'll want them to be higher ratings for us, so yeah, that's fine. Market libs, huh? Well, they're on top. With the war going on, rations have been imposed upon the public. Despite this, some within the Mexican-American community found this by wearing zoot suits as these materials that are needed for the war effort. Many white Americans regard wearing zoot suits as a sign of criminality and loose morals. Tensions have continued in L.A. to rise until exploding violence. Soldiers and sailors beaten and engaged in rioting against the Mexicans. Meanwhile, local press tended to praise the sailors and soldiers of having a cleansing effect rid of L.A. of miscreants and hoodlums. One journalist on the scene, Kerry McWilliams, wrote, marching through the streets of downtown L.A., a mob of several thousand soldiers, sailors, and civilians proceeded to beat up every zoot suitor they could find, pushing its way into the important motion picture, theaters. The mob ordered the management to turn on the house lights and then ran up and down the aisles, dragging Mexicans out of the seats. Three cars were halted while Mexicans and some Filipinos and Negroes were jerked from their seats, pushing in the streets and beaten with, with a sadistic frenzy. This ain't good. Uh, President Columbia, I guess. The Army War College, Field Artillery School, Fort Benning, and many other major buildings, locations, and training sites have been damaged by the war, and the reconstruction should be one of our top priorities to bring the Army back on its feet now that the Civil War is good, oh, good and over. I know we could have, like, peacefully ended up not annexing Canada, but honestly, 
If you take out Canada, what else can anyone else do about this? Nothing. Well, in a brief campaign, George Jones has been brought under our control. Uh, oh, oh, God, oh, good God. And with it all, yeah, what should we do? Give it a West Indian ally? You betcha. Following the Zutu riots, Mexican government has lodged a complaint with the U.S. State Department. The calm tension between us, or, you know, us and Mexico, the McGuckin Committee has been created, led by the Archbishop of L.A., Joseph Thomas McGuckin. The report concluded that racism was clearly at the center of the riots, as well as staying an aggressive, our aggravating practice of the media to link the phrase Zoot Suit with a report of a crime. The governor of California appointed the Peace Officers Committee on Civil Disturbances, chaired by Robert W. Kennedy, president of the National Lawyers Guild, to make recommendations to the police. Human Relations Committees were appointed, and the police departments were required to train their officers to treat all citizens equally, at least for now. That's so almost the end of it in the 1940s presidential election. Frank Miriam has governed the nation since the outbreak of the Second American Civil War when the Pacific states broke away from the tyranny of MacArthur. During the biggest threat to American democracy, people stood strong in favor of the founding principles that America was founded on. As the election season nears, both establishment parties have been hard at work campaigning for the preferred candidates. Campaigning for the Democratic Party was Culver Olson of Utah, born the son of a suffragette. The first female elected to their office in Utah, Olson was involved in politics from a young age. Well, ordinarily, a staunch atheist like Olson would face derision amongst the American populace. The horrors of the Second American Civil War had left scars even amongst the most devout believers who struggled to answer the questions of how the events of the last three years could come to be. Running against Olson for the Republican Party is Charles McNary of Oregon, a progressive Republican. McNary has found support amongst a broad range of voters, a friend of farmers in nature. McNary has spent much of the 20s attempting to pass legislation to expand natural parks and protect American farmers when the Great Depression ravaged the country. Surprising many of the polls is the Farmer Labor Party. As a socialist part of America, the American First Party shattered the two-party duopoly and the governmental power. The Farmer Labor Party was able to grow in that vacuum. A farmer from Iowa, Henry Wallace, and the Farmer Labor Party appeal strongly to the rural populace. Wallace has promised that during his term, legislation such as McNary, Haugen Farm Relief Bill will not be vetoed. Also in the Democrats, proud atheist, social liberalism, McNary and the Republicans secure the vote, market liberalism, electrify America seems pretty good too, and Wallace wins big. Well, you know what, when's the last time we played social democracy? Let's go with this person. Farmer Labor? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Whoa, he's got some hair. He's got some serious hair. Henry Wallace. So I guess we would go this way. Farmer Labor? I guess. No, did I choose the right one? Maybe I didn't. Oh, wow. Oh, remove recovery from the Civil War. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Farmer Labor victory. An upset. The Farmer Labor Party has won the 1940 election. They have a sweeping agenda that emphasizes men and the divide between the working class and the wealthy, as well as building a welfare state. Of course. Why not? What else we got here? Not enough planes, or not enough factories, at the very least. Industry is not looking so great either, as we are protecting our coasts from all ne'er do wells. Oh, look at this. Are we done with. Oh, are we actually done with our land auction? I forget. Ah, uh, looks like we are. Nice. Which means we throw this stuff on here, too. Oh, we already did. Oh, crap. What do we do with our land auction then? Fate of Portugal. The government of Lisbon has finally been reinforced into sea, but we are left with the fate of the Portuguese people to decide. Do we release them as their own nation following the rightly guided principles? Portugal monarchy? Why would we have a monarchy? We're going to have a republic in Portugal. And Canada? Finally, the corrupt Dominion of Canada, the home of the British exiles, has capitulated to our glorious armies. Ports say the kingdom is close circle for the country, but that don't matter. We have now control over these large portions of land. What should we do with them? Low Canada? Liberate them? Liberate Quebec and annex Canada. No. Why does this pop again? The triumph of democracy. With the founder of Peter Mc General Mc Ooh. Uh, General MacArthur's junta, our government. The righteous government stands tall over the American continent once more. Just like Abraham Lincoln did over 75 years ago, President Henry Wallace has saved democracy in the Union. Now that the war is over, the lessons learned from the crisis of 37, the war must be studied and applied. While there is indeed much willingness in the government to reform the system, there is no consensus on how to proceed. Some question whether President Reed and Long should be propagandized as martyrs against the dictatorship of Douglas MacArthur, who all agree was the prime villain of the Civil War, or they should be dismissed as a radical dictators in the making themselves. There are so many sympathizers both men of the farmer and labor, democratic and progressive parties, despite declaring both men traitors back in 1937. What is clear is that the military had grown too powerful pre-war America, even peacetime, but few know how to reconcile this issue with national defense, especially with the popularity of General Marshall, who has been offered several government positions already. All these questions and others must now be answered, but by the grace of the Almighty God, America now has a government ready to try. Democracy in America is not yet dead. United States? Sweet. Keep map color. Democracy in America is not yet dead. I kind of like the yellow. It makes us more unique. I mean, that's, we want to stay as America, but... Trials of Weapons com Companies. A number of weapons companies has fought for the various traders and rebels against America, thus a hearing has been brought before Congress to decide their fate. So we shall allow them to operate again, or they shall be regarded as traders and treat as such. Social democracy goes down, new companies will be available. Now nah, we're good. Keep our color. Because when's the last time it was actually yellow America? Is that a race thing? Let's not bring that up. Um, 
I already have one strike on the channel. Hockey, I don't want another one, but you know what? I probably will get one anyways. All right. Yeah, I just need more millies. Oh, another armor scheme? Nice. It is 1940. Nice, not bad, not bad. 1941. Ah, going down one anyways. That stability isn't too good. Now is it? What the heck? What did it do? So we travel the heavy company. Heavy, heavy equipment companies. Why do you get penalized twice for that? Uh, nope. A boulder dam completed. This morning I came, I saw, and conquered. As everyone who would be sees, who sees for the first time this great beauty of mankind. Ten years ago, the place where we are gathered was a sparse, forbidding desert. In the bottom of a gloomy canyon, whose precipitous walls rose to a height of more than a thousand feet, flowed a turbulent, dangerous river. The mountains on either side of the canyon were difficult of access, and with neither road nor trail, and the rocks were protected by neither trees nor grass from the blazing heat of the sun. The side of Boulder City was a cactus-covered waste. The transformation wrought here in these years is a 20th century marvel. Thus began Henry Wallace's speech to dedicate the creation of Boulder Dam that's finally been completed today. And on behalf of the nation, to say to you, well done. Aviation and clan laws. Uh, following the first civil war in the 60s, a number of laws were passed by President Grant. Stop the first clan of the terrorism. During the Wilson and McAdoo administrations, the clan experienced a major birth and then decided to join the would-be tyrant he belonged. We should use the laws to make sure that these tra terrorist traders do not find any rest within America. Death of the clan. Claim Hawaii. Fought them Cindy's and all these guys too. Uh, that'd be really good to do actually. Let's go there. Yeah, that's, that's okay to do. Cruiser. Um, light hole subs. Uh, I really do that one. Wow, that's a lot. That's expensive. Fought them socialists. Return West Indian lands. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Go ahead. So we'll claim Hawaii eventually. National Housing Act. Oh, that'd be really good to do. And to trust. Ooh, a hundred more political power would be really good. Trials and naval weapon companies. There you go. National Youth Administration. Yes, sir. Unemployment neat breeds radicalism. We must ensure that the young men demobilized from the war have meaningful employment, or we'll see a rise in the radicalism we've spent the last few years attempting to suppress. We'll see what we can do there. Keep building, building, building more uh, rubber. That's what we really want. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, we're done with the rubber then. Protecting Columbia. Nice. Trial industrial companies. Now nah, we're good. Anything else here we really care about? Angola, resistance. Who took out? Oh, South African Federation. Huh? Alright, well, whatever. In the meantime, we might have to go to war with Mexico, but at least protect our coast. I doubt anyone's going to invade us at this point. I really don't think anyone can, especially with the death of Canada. Florida. Hawaii rejoins America. Today, a small garrison of American troops landed in Pearl Harbor. Marched through Oahu in the city center of Honolulu. At noon, the Hawaiian flag atop of the Iolani place, the palace was lowered, and the United States of America's flag was raised, of course. Henry Alexander Baldwin then gave a speech, seeking, asking Hawaiians to celebrate the reunion between Hawaii and the continental America. Excellent. Oh, they were on the right expect. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Let's this first. Whee. Bing bong boom. Wow, he's got a lot of things there. Wow. Give him about a day or so. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. Um, 19, 4 to 1. Happy 4 to 1, everybody. And actually, don't want to forget about you guys, too. There you go. For now. New nationalism. Why well, we want new nationals? It looks like it just hurts us. Strength of Democracy, Labor Relations Act, Social Security, Medicare. Yeah, we're gonna definitely wait to do that one. Military research. GI Bill. Increased military spending. Pretty expensive. Um Equal Rights Amendment. The amendment has been conceived up in the early twenties following the passage of the eighteenth amendment to allow women the right to vote. The amendment will follow up on the nineteenth amendment. And further protect the rights of women throughout the United States of America, the amendment reads as follows. Section 1, equality of rights under this law shall not be not, not denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Section 2, the Congress shall have the power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of the article. Section 3, the amendment shall take effect two years after the date of ratification. As per the Constitution of the good old U.S., it is to be ratified by either the legislatures of three-fourths of the states or state ratifying conventions of three-fourths of the states. What shall happen with the First Amendment? If it to be ratified, that's the one I normally like, so we'll do that one for now. Red and roses, huh? Minimum wage. Brain trust, huh? I do have that extra research slot, too. Military research. While we have some of the finest universities and thinkers in the world, we cannot research everything at once. We need to pick a direction for our military research to focus on. 
Nice. Lots of trucks. We'll have to truck it up here. Do we have any planes? You guys are doing plane stuff over there. There you go. Good luck. I know you ain't got much, but it is what it is. Oh, some infantry divisions too. That's nice. Give them a day, they'll figure out what they're doing. Nice. Yeah, 0 0.76 every single day is not bad. Why can we do this? Oh, resistance less than Oh, wow. Well. It's so high. I was going down. It just takes a lot of time, that's all. Alright, with it being 41, we're going to build more. Second sign of Japanese war, very cool. Who are we still at war with? All the on. Oh, these guys. Well, we'll see how long they last. That's a lot of resistance. Wow. Wowzers. And Bowsers. Nice. Oh, whoa. Oh, trial of the Union's generals. Well, let's think I've read this one before, so if you're going to do this again, please go right ahead. Spare them. That's not bad. Discharge them. Exile is the only thing they deserve. I think this discharging them would be a more fitting punishment for them. As much as I want all that extra political power, I just think it's just more fitting for them for that one. And... Get together first. Let's them all come here. That's fine. All in one little area. Longest resistance. Oh, wait. We can do this one, too. No, we're already doing this. All it takes forever. Elementary speech. We lose political power. Get more legitimacy gain. Weapons for the resistance. Amelia Earhart and the 99s. Let's have a war now. Over Amelia Earhart is restarted. The 99s dedicated to promoting and supporting women to become aviators. A number. Are these pods have decided to enter the Air Force of the WASP organization? There's more to life than being a passenger. Child labor amendment. Oh, child labor. No more child labor. What? Congress recently proposed an amendment that outlaws child labor throughout the country. The proposed amendment reads the following, section 1 and 2. The Congress shall have power to limit, regulate, and prohibit the labor of persons under 18 years of age. The power of the several states is unimpaired by this article, except uh, that the operation of the state laws shall be suspended to the extent necessary to give, to, to give effect to legislation enacted by Congress. As per the Constitution of the United States of America, it has to be ratified either the legislature and stuff like that, so we'll go with it, why not? Why not? Let's take a look. Resistance is, is still falling, which is good. Compliance is still okay-ish. South the taxes is just giving us a hard time. Yeah, no, we don't, yeah, we should have intelligence agency. That would help us out. Military Research National Housing Act. That would be actually really good to do as well. Brain Trust is okay. Yeah, National Housing Act, but the GI Bill is really where it's at. Massive numbers of demobilized servicemen will be a major issue in the aftermath of the Civil War. We should create an education and job training program to integrate them into civilian life. It's probably the one we really should probably be doing. So, How much is this one? 150? Yeah, it's 150. This one's what? Pacific Car and Foundry? Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad, actually. That's cool. Super heavy and he Wow. Okay. Wow, that's pretty thick. Them some thick boys. But you know what? That's how we like them. Advanced heavy holes? Well, we definitely don't have the naval XP for that, so. We really have the naval XP for that one. Are we doing mobile? Oh, yeah, we already mobilizing, aren't we? Here, don't as much as they may want us to. Yeah, that sucks. How's this looking? Oh, they did get invaded a little bit, it looks like. Or fighting him. So the Reich's Pact is doing okay ish. Theater International is not doing great. Moscow Accord is. Well, they're struggling. But they could be doing a lot worse. Romania's actually doing relatively well. Russia is sucking hard. Baltic... Wait, Baltic Federation but Estonia exists. How does that make any sense? Ooh, a white cross. Nice. Uh, come on, come your friends. Hold out, buddies. Hold out. What the heck is that? Huh. Construction of the Pentagon. Uh, I've read this one before as well, I think. So if you want to do this, please go ahead. We'll lose a lot for that one. It's fine. China's on fire. Wow. Oh. Real takes up there. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, 
We could invade. Oh, they're over here too. Technically, we could probably use Portugal to invade them, right? Yeah. Anthem for America. The United States of America does not have an official anthem, and today, a debate within Congress uh, has been picked up in declaring the song to be an anthem. Four songs have been chosen to pop some candidates, which it would be Columbia, Jim of the Ocean, Hail Columbia, Backyard Freedom. Uh, let's go Columbia, Hail Jim of the Ocean. I want that one. GI Bill. Yeah, that'll be good to do. Oh, wait, it just gives us research speed now. What the heck? That's not cool. Well, then. National housing? Uh, hack? As many communities destroyed in the Civil War, we need to rebuild houses and resettle people from the mass refugee camps that have spread up all over the country. Military research. We're having our best scientists and business leaders looking at what we should invest our efforts into guns, tanks, artillery, and improving our own doctrines. Which we choose? Doctrines? No. Tanks, maybe. Artillery? Guns? Nah, do guns, why not? Public works projects? Public works projects serve a twofold purpose. One, they will help repair the damn drop out of the Civil War. Secondly, they'll provide viable work opportunities for the various mobilized militias and paramilitaries and new antitrust laws. Corporate exploitation of the working class was a major reason for the rise of the CSA. We need to break up the largest banks and other industrial conglomerates to prevent this from occurring again. Rural Electrification Administration. Many rural communities lack any sort of electrical power by creating the Rural Electrification Administration. We can fund electrification efforts in these communities, boosting our party popularity and improving this economy significantly. Railway nationalization. One of the progressive party's policies is to suffer some time with the nationalization of the country's railroads. Now that they have power, the question is exactly how shall railway nationalization should go? Congress is debating between two different proposals for how it shall be implemented. The first proposal is that the railroads will be nationalized, but not the cars allow them for private businesses to compete among themselves for customers, while the second plan will include the cars and the nationalization. Which version shall Congress go with? Nationalize both, or just nationalize the track? Probably just the track. Labor laws. A set of laws recently been proposed to Congress that would, for the first time, establish federal minimum wage and maximum work hours per week. The minimum wage law would set the hourly wage at 25 cents an hour, while the maximum hours law would establish 40 hour work week. These laws are being packaged together in Congress, meaning if the one fails or passes, so does the other. What should Congress do? We're going to do nothing but pass the laws. Sleep of the Lagoon Murder. In LA news, has been made of Jose Gala Diaz, who was recently found murdered near a swimming hole in commerce near LA. But what made the story more newsworthy was one was the case of the man who are accused of murdering, murdering the dude. The LA police found a gang of 17 men of Mexican-American descent nearby and believe that they are responsible for the crime. It's attracted something of a media circus as activists have tried to protest the actions, claiming that these men are not the killer and are innocent. The fact that there is insufficient evidence to link them. Despite this, none of them were convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to serve time in San Quentin prison, where they're being imprisoned in LA County Jail. The case has been generating much animosity within the white populace towards Mexican-Americans, not helped by the fact that both the police and the press have characterized all Mexican youths as pachuco hoodlums and baby gangsters por Diaz. But we gotta talk about the, create the CCC. By creating the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, we will gain a large workforce capable of restoring infrastructure destroyed in the Civil War. In which, technically, we're still at war with the French state, and we're just kind of hanging out with them. Um, I think I'm actually just flying on somebody. Is it Mexico? Am I just flying on Mexico? No, I'm not. Am I just flying on anybody? No, I thought it was. Hmm. I mean, the common France isn't looking too good right now. Uh, I'm pretty much going to be waiting for, until these guys finish off here, so... That'll be good to do. Um, it really looks like these guys will probably do really well here. Honestly, the Reichspack might do really, 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 really well. So, we'll have to wait and see for them, of course. But yeah, uh, rural, electrifica uh, blah, 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 blah. rural electrification will be good to get done. Hello. Ah, those guys are gone, whatever. And remove economic devastation from the Civil War. That's good. Here's the CCC. Ecuador has joined the pact, which is nice. We're still trying to recover from the Civil War, which sucks. Head of Intelligence. Uh, we do want the minimum wage here. The McGuckin Committee. Following the Zutu riots, the Mexican government lodged a complaint with the United States State Department. To calm tension between America and Mexico, the McGuckin Committee has uh, been created, or, uh, led by, which is led by Archbishop of L.A., jo jo did I read this already? Joseph Thomas McGuckin. The report concluded that racism was clearly the center of the riots, as well as an aggravating practice to link the phrase Zutu with the report of the crime. The governor of California appointed the Peace Officers Committee on Civil Disturbances, chaired by Robert W. Kennedy, the president of the National Lawyers Guild, to make recommendations to the police. Human Relations Committees are appointed, but the police departments are required to train their officers to treat all, treat all citizens equally. Let's hope it's the end of it, but... Okay, well, I don't know why we got that again. I'm pretty sure I got that one earlier. I could be wrong. I, uh, by the time I'm recording this, this has been like two or three days difference, or over time, so... Regardless... Uh, that'd be good. Minimum wage would be really good to get rid of to, so... Or get to, or to get. Farm Security Agency. American farms are devastated in the war. By creating a federal agency responsible for protecting farmers, we can ensure agriculture, prosperity, and security. And minimum wage. 
We're currently lacking sort of a federal minimum wage. Ensuring that all uh, that all and everyone is able to afford a minimum standard of living will not only ensure people are able to live securely, but help the national economy as a whole. That would be a good thing. Settlement administration? Yes, please. Massive numbers. Of refugees fled all over the country during the Civil War, from African Americans fleeing racist mobs in the South to the wealthy fleeing to Canada and California. We must ensure that these refugees are settled back in their homes or at least somewhere safe and brain trust. A group of young new progressive senators elected in the farmer labor detective have been deemed the brain trust due to their Ivy League education and radical proposals for reforming the country. And Burton Roses. America's prospered in the farmer labor party. The economy is booming, the radical cynicalism, and the other leftist ideologues have been undercut by the government's welfare programs. That's a new day. In America, the case against Paramount Pictures, a court case has reached the Supreme Court of the United States of America regarding the studio system that has been a legal battle for several years. The issue at the heart of the case was the studio system where the major movie industries would own the theaters outright. After a number of years of back and forth, it has reached the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled against the studio system, which claimed that was a violation of the antitrust laws. This court case has struck down the studio system and marks an end of an age for Hollywood, the end of the studio system, and Perez vs. Sharp. The case involving the marriage of Andrea Perez to Sylvester Davis has finally reached the Supreme Court. Andrea Perez is classified as white, while Sylvester Davis is considered Negroes per the U.S. Census. However, California's law forbids all marriages of white persons with Negroes, Mongolians, members of the Malay race, or mulattoes are legal, illegal and void, and that no license may be issued authorizing the marriage of a white person with a Negro, mulatto, Mongolian, or member of the Malay race. Consequently, County Clerk W.G. Sharp followed California law and refused to give them their marriage licenses. However, Perez, with the help of the lawyers, Daniel G. Marshall, brought forth the writ of Ma Mandamus. Within the trial, one of the arguments that was brought up was the fact that both Perez and Davis were Catholic and wanted a Catholic marriage that included Mass. But now and then, the license, they say that the city was deprived of them of the Holy Sacrament of Matrimony. However, the fate of the case is within the hands of the Supreme Court, which, has, which uh, he decided 4-3, ban is overturned. 4-3, ban is kept. Ban is kept. Of course, I know, still doing minimum wage and burning roses. Um, in the meantime, we're also going trying to slowly try to get better compliance here and help lower resistance so it's just taking a long time and of course we are now just flying on mexico which should be a lot of fun so some of you might be wondering why are we going to go to war with mexico and the reason for that is because why not um it's pretty much tradition here whenever it plays america you gotta take out mexico so other than that i'm just kind of doing it because we can that's quite literally the only reason why we're going to war with mexico it's like at this point just what we do on this channel so um Besides, I'm really bored over here, just sitting here doing focuses, so... Ooh, that's two subs, actually. Oh, that sucks. Of course, the Mexicans do have a little bit of a navy, but that's fine. And, of course, we have our ships over here, too, doing their work. Doing, putting in work. So, oh, there you go, guys. Go, infantry. Motorized infantry. Go, 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 go. Do the best you can. Uh, we actually might need some naval bombers here, maybe. Got some of these guys over here. Naval bombers. They'll do okay. Probably focus a little bit more on the Air Force. Anything else right now? Oh, there's some guys up here too. What is this? There's, ah, these are extra planes that were left over. Air quotes left over. Uh, when the divisions were disbanded, that's right. Well, looks like we're doing pretty well overall. I mean, there was a couple more comments from um, earlier as well. Someone says, I've been waiting for this campaign. Someone says, I don't get why mods like this one keep doing that mass division uh, booty pool. Not sure if it's AI cheating or something the mod developers decided to put in because reasons, but it's annoying. Someone says, you should use cons commands to make peace with the Entente, and someone else says the same thing too. Um, so, someone says he saw a video on YouTube of someone playing in New York City in the American Civil War and leader is a police chief. And someone also says, can you play this Kaiserreich Korea in the future? And to that answer, I, could, I will say, yeah, probably I can. We just finished minimum wage, though. So, burning roses. We're getting rid of this debuffs. Be really good. And 200 more political power. Very nice. A lot of convoys go bye-bye. That sounds good to us. Yes, please. Thank you. Ooh, any more here? Oh. Ooh, we lost six up. That's not good. That's fine, whatever. Um, let's keep cracking down and stuff. So we can actually make the core here. And Florida looks like two. Anywhere else here? Doesn't really look like it too much. So, in the meantime, I do want to get maybe armor? Uh, we need more rubber and chromium. That's pretty normal. Just do standard oil. I don't really care. It's fine. These guys will expand a little bit, but we should do okay. Guadalajara. Nice. What are the losses like? Oh, that's not bad. 240,000. That's actually really good. Greece is doing the Moscow port. Okay. A couple more subs. Of course, the capital is Sacramento up there, too. And what do we have over here? Anything? Um, happy 1942. M2 Garand. Not bad. A lot of convoys. A lot of convoys. Good, 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 good. 
Do we have air superiority? No, we don't. But yes, we do. But not really in some places, but yes. Hey, there you go. Oh, we ended up over here too. Oh, okay. Gen Con boys look pretty good to me. Slowly spreading out that way, which does suck for us, but whatever. Not bad, not bad. I'm waiting for Illinois so we can also record that one as well. A lot of combos getting sunk. We're probably honestly sinking more, killing more men by sinking combos than anything else. Yeah, look at that. Pretty intense. Mexico City, please. Yes, yes. We got cavalry, but we got uh, light horses. But we got actual motorized divisions, so yeah. My goal is just to just keep conquering for now. This way, this direction. Convoys, convoys, convoys. Six more convoys. They're totally so. They kind of deserve it. Not good old capitalists like, capitalists like us. Look at that. Oh, air doctrine stuff, yes. Air superiority? Why not? Great presents nothing to laugh at. That's really good, actually. And there's a lot of guys here. And they got to do these, a lot of convoys to keep these guys applied. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of convoys. Advanced carriers? Not bad. Subs? Not bad either. Probably not going to use those a whole bunch. We can do that one too for now. Five days left. And there you go. There you go. Mexico, thank you very much. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty Manifest Destiny-like right now. Alright, so let's take a look here. Do we have any supply hubs down here? Yes. We won't put up here anyways. Can I not? There you go. Bread and Roses, very nice. New nationalism. I did read about the GI Bill last time, so if you were, or earlier. Do you want to do this one again? Please go right ahead. It's not that great of an effect, but whatever. And then we're going to grab this too. So we're going to even do more damage. Fade in Mexico? Why not? Ah, after a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. We must side now on. Future of Mexico. Yes, like Canada. Military occupation is the only way to go, so. Get this up and done. And. Pacific Car and Foundry? Might as well. Very nice. Did we learn anything here? No? Nimitz? No? Okay. Really start expanding out way, 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 way more. Way more expansion. And then you guys are doing okay. Literally protecting all of North America. We can go to war with these guys too. We could go to war with the Reich's pack. We're still just fighting on these guys. Ooh, they're actually fighting Costa Rica. We don't have that much longer with these guys, and... Why would they take them out? Yeah, take out these guys. Well, that's free divisions for us, and free territory if we did that. I'm sure guys, that's fine, too. Alright, so out of the GI Bill, new weapons designs, why not? Well, the, while the M1 Garand managed to see us through the Civil War, its flaws were as noticeable when it was adopted by as they are now. However, with the criticism we have gathered during the Civil War, we have contracted the original designer, and sure that they, by re redesigning the barrel, the gas cylinder, and front side assembly, he will make the Garand an even more reliable and deadly weapon, which is exactly what we want. Oh, whoa! We lost a sub. That sucks. Nice. Gives a lot of XP. Survives abdication. Oh, wait. Okay. Isn't that guy already gone? Nice. Is he down here? Where did he go? Canada's dead. Canada is a failed state, as it should be. Um, yeah, hopefully getting a lot of experience with, uh, the sub guy. Nimitz. 95%, not bad. 96%, not bad. Any more infantry? Yes, sir. And these divisions that we're using are not bad either. Volunteers, pretty good. Motorized, armored, marines, mountaineers, garrisons, paratroopers. Honestly, as much as I want to use them, we're probably not going to use them. I'm probably not going to use this one. How's this looking? Not great. Mechanized, I'll probably keep that. Maybe we'll edit that. Maybe we will use some mechanized. But they'll have to be just straight mechanized. Of course, this is no cost for us, but still. So. Hmm, probably a waste using these guys for this type of campaign. The motorized is cheap. Oh, that's more convoys, that sucks. Alright, can we core anything else here yet? No? Alright, so let's start doing Illinois and Ohio. 70% is a bit too much. Oh, we can almost do uh, uh, Ohio. Power right now. 
bad. And Torpedo. Torpedo with a real chance goes way down. That's way good. We lost 10 subs. Jesus Christ. Of course, then again, these subs that we're making are not very good. So I should probably get... We should probably research better subs. Yeah, in all honesty, we probably... Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Level 3. Nice. Ooh. Oh, there goes... Oh, what the heck? Um, so these guys have come back. I didn't do anything to this, but yeah. The coming advance is... Still alive and kicking somehow. Go figure. You know what? Let's, let's pull out of this area at the very least. Losing a lot of subs. I mean, it's not... Which is not good, but still, whatever. Not that great, but still. So the goal is here to jump down here, and then I jump down to here, and jump, 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 all the way to here. Maybe, if we have to. At least one more episode in this campaign, at least. Cool. Alright, Ohio, yes please. West Virginia, yes sir. Down here, no. Not even Louisiana yet, no. Okay. Yeah, we don't have everything cored yet in this country, so. Which does suck quite a bit. Oh, wow. Let's go with two, and we'll go with one, two, three. Keep making more stuff. And just another two. Thank you. And Guatemala's ready. Nice. Um, Andy Impact. Puerto Rico. They should definitely be under us. India's been called. Come on, man. India's been called in. It's so dumb. Better guns? Why not? Mechanized three? This is mechanized in general, I guess. Advanced carrier holes. Well, I'm still trying to make better cruiser holes, so we'll get there. Can I get naval up to be so difficult? I understand. I don't know why. It's just so easy to get, like, all this. And double charges. Uh, let's go with secondary batteries. Or secondary battery. Uh, no? Dual purpose. Or this one. Or this one. Secondary your batteries. There you go. Now I can use this one. That one's going to be done. What was I saying? I can't remember. How long are you guys going to take here? I think seven more political pilots, fine. New weapons designs. Of course, we're doing those guys too. And increase military spending. We're going to wait for that one. I did do this one. In the last episode, so there's that one too. All right, so do you have any manpower left? Two thousand. Oh, you guys are out of manpower now. Hmm. All right. Of course, we gotta do all this stuff and back in business. The nation has seen some trolls, which meant it cannot act as an international power, but not as it deserves to be. But now that's changed. America's ready to re-enter the world stage, as it probably should. Oh, Louisiana, thank God. Ooh, escort crews are very good. Firefighting drills, good. Torpedoes. Anything else around here? No. Alright. You know what's good? Do South, South Carolina, too. Where are we for South Carolina? We're almost there. My goodness. Are you done yet? Screw it. We're just going to go in. I don't want to wait any longer. This is dumb. How many guys have forced it to? Did we create the supply bases? Not yet. Alright. Not bad. Nice. Not bad. And then Leahy's not going to be bad either. Come on, guys. Keep going in. New animals. Very good. We're spread through all these ones before as well. So we'll do a lot of these focuses over here. War bonds are not bad. Rebuild the military industrial complex. Columbia needs you. I don't know why that still exists. Columbia needs you. I mean, I think the devs just kind of ran out of ideas for this because by the time you get to there, you should have everything already done. So, yeah, I don't want to do that one yet. I'll probably save this up for the last, actually. In the meantime, ah, oh, there you go. Here's that one we'll be done with, which would be good. How are we doing over here? Philadelphia area, 21%. Is it going down at all? No, it's not. Low stability. We don't have that low stability. Uh, just because we're resistant from Philadelphia. How about up here? 
That was a nine. Wait, what? Nine percent. Oh, we have to have cores over there too. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, you guys go over there then. And actually, you should be doing anti-partisan stuff. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Go streak, you get nothing. Because you deserve nothing from this. You guys are just going to do that. And do that whenever you can. Y'all, I'm going to do this. And you, three divisions come from here to Puerto Rico. And you three come from here to that part of Puerto Rico. And I see all should be golden. Mm, so development create the waves. Ship repair speed be very good. And then fate of Central America. Return West Indian lands. Uh yeah, I'll keep it all. Decided to the people of Central America. As our puppet. Original states loyal. You know what for this one? I think I'm gonna I don't want to hit, get hit yet, so we'll do that one. We can liberate them later and suppress everything else that they have, so. Oh god dang, I gotta set this up again. Are you kidding me, man? Why is it like that? I understand. I hope that hurts him up. Oh my god, I don't care. I do not care. There you go, there you go. Alright, just in case, go to do. Landing craft. And down here. Yes, please. Great the waves. Very good. Andy Potter's in. Even better, anti And it's going to take some time. Because we're going to need a base of operations to invade them from. And now, everyone, time to go back to Puerto Rico. Let's have a little bit of fun with them. And actually, you know what? I've never played Puerto Rico. Maybe I'll play them sometime. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, also, we got a lot of political power because there were events saying or asking if Alaska and Hawaii wanted to be states. And I'm like, okay, sure, why not? They can be states. But now let's go to war with uh, Puerto Rico. I think at this point, uh, off screen, I'm going to throw in a mod, uh, like fast just war justification, just so we can go to war with these guys faster because it's kind of boring right now. So I do want to at least finish up this uh, back in business focus first, and then we'll see what happens. Have we landed? Yes, we did. Thank you, San Juan. I appreciate your bodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I think, like I said, I'm going to end it here just because I want to film that mod. And then next time we can be like, hey, let's quickly just find other people so we can quickly get over to here. I could use consequence for these guys, but at the same time, oh well. Eh, there's not a whole lot left of this whole campaign. Especially after this, once this war is over, there's not a whole lot left, generally. So, eh, we'll see what happens. And actually for this one, we Puerto Rico. Well, a brief campaign, San Juan is under our control with all of it. Puerto Rico, what should we do? Yeah, I don't know why we wouldn't want that one, so, but whatever. Um, here, get all these sections, because we can, why not? I'm back in business, my friend, back in business. So, you know, maybe I'll let you guys decide. Should we enter the fray and the ar become the arsenal of democracy, have a longer reach on the beach, working with potential allies, the American century, or should you do Fortress America? Man the walls. Business neutrality, which I do like a lot. Looking inward, which is pretty good. America leaps forward, or, man, peace of the loss, but... If you want to know, about, let me know which way we should go. But if you enjoyed the episode, and not the campaign, but the episode at the very least, do please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the descri description below, and I will see you tomorrow. After we will take out a lot more people a lot more quickly. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.